Good morning. So I'm getting ready to eat some yummy pancakes. This is a poinsettia that Megwin made for me. And I'm going to cast on my oops, Christmas Eve cast on A Spark of Grey by Melanie Berg. But I'm going to use um, this color. It's a slip stitch shawl, so I'm going to use this color and this color from my Aunt Lynn's stash. So this will be kind of the main color and this will be the contrast color because this is a big skein. It's got like 500 something yards and um, the shawl calls for 490 to do this ruffle. So the ruffle and stuff will be the brown. So I'm going to edit the vlogmas from yesterday and um, get that uploaded for you guys. back in my craft room and, oh, my hair keeps falling out of this breath it's kind of keeping it back out of my face though while I'm working um, here I'll turn this way so you have natural light but first I'm winding up some yarn that I might want to knit up during the break because I don't always keep my um, swift and well swift and ball winder out so I've got my swift here on my ironing board because it's the right height and then I've got my ball winder over here next to my sewing machine um, I had it out earlier for winding up the yarn for my a spark of gray shawl and the other one that I would like to knit up for um, maybe be working on it New Year's Eve is this one and this is the Cheers colorway from Jinx Yarns. I love it so much. It's so beautiful. I've wanted this one since she first showed it. And I did manage to score a skein in her very last holiday colors update. Um, and I think I showed it when it came in. But I'm going to actually wind it up now or into a cake so that I'll have it ready for when I finish a pair of socks. I'm not sure which pair of socks I will finish next. It will either be the blue striped rag sock for my husband, the um, one that I cast on for him that's interlacements tiny toes and a mohair held double, or um, my hand turkey socks. Those are the three sets that I currently have on the needles. And um, I think I maybe have one more set of sock needles that are free. So I could just cast it on with those. I'm thinking, yeah, no, I have a pair of Knit Picks ones in 2.5 that are not in use right now. So I could just use those instead. So anyway, 
long story short I'm gonna wind up this skein and then I'm gonna start working on sewing the pajamas I tried to take a nap with Joshua because he was up from midnight until 4 a.m. Um, and he just kept asking for food he was saying I'm really hungry mommy I'm really hungry and I was joking that it was like the rules of caring for the mogwai that I shouldn't feed him after midnight no matter how much he begs but I did anyway and I'm pretty sure that gremlins are just hangry toddlers think about it they don't like to be wet bright lights hurt their eyes and they're hungry or they get hangry I guess just my theory but um yeah he kept me up really late so I thought I would take a nap with him but I'm so stuffed up that when I lay down I can't breathe and I'm like coughing because things are draining and so I just gave up <laughs> um but I'm due to take more Sudafed at like one so maybe after I take that um it will help a little bit I don't know yeah so I'm just going to power through and do some sewing. So all my pieces are cut out. I started sewing uh, Megwin's bodice part, uh, which I think will be the harder piece. You can tell now, like, my hair is naturally wavy. Uh, so it's really coming out now that I didn't blow dry my hair. And yeah... Hold the volume. Uh -huh. So this is going to be the little front part, and it has this little ruffle, so that'll flip up. And now I'm working on the back part of the bodice. And then I'm going to do the shoulder pieces, and the shoulder pieces flip over in front of this little ruffle thing. And then there's also some lace on the back. I have to look and see if I have any lace in my stash I think I do um, but if I don't I'll just omit that part it's just a superfluous trim for fun Okay guys, I finished it! Joshua with his PJs. <laughs> And his very full chili belly. <laughs> and then here's the one I made for Megwin. So, oh my god, it was so fiddly. So see, it's got inset lace. Joshua, I want to show people the ruffle. This part comes forward to make the yoke from the back. Set in gathered sleeves. I did not put the gathers on the ends of the sleeves, but I did hem them just because I didn't want to do that for my Um And then the bodice is fully lined, and it has a, a baby foot in it. And then I also, um, the gathers are between the, the lining and the outside. 
and it has a really, really long skirt. The only thing I haven't done is I didn't hem it, but I've been working on it for a long, long time. Let's see what, uh, four hours yesterday and four or five hours today, so I'm done for right now. I'll hem it later. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all done. You gonna wear that and be beautiful, Joshua? Nah, 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 nah. I should have made you that and made Sissy the pants. What do you think? <laughs> You're a silly boy. Okay, so I just have to make the uh, pie. He's gonna hide in it. He probably could. You could hide a couple bubbies in that skirt. Uh, so I just have to make the pie, and uh, then I'm ready to do my Christmas Eve cast on. I have a little helper for making the uh, peppermint pie. He's gonna unwrap the candies, put the candy in there, and then the wrapper in there. Okay, there you go. And keep going. We got to do the whole bucket, buddy. Okay, and for those who want to see it, oops, all right, let me hold it up. This is the recipe. And unfortunately, because of the oven situation, um, I had to buy some crust, but thank goodness we have uh, pre-made crusts in our grocery store, so I got some chocolate pie crusts ready to eat. Um, because I can't bake them. I had JoJo's from Trader Joe's all ready to go, but <clears throat> alas, I will not be able to use them. Good job, buddy. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera around and then I will start um, doing stuff.
one-handed pie making. So the peppermint pie is ready. I'm going to cover it and chill it overnight. And then, actually, I've got to figure out how to, uh-oh, did you just take it off? It just fell off? Yeah. Where is it? Okay, go get it. Well, it was on there a second ago, so just go get down and go get it. All right. You got it? Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna cover it. Uh, yeah. So find your screwdriver, and then I'm gonna chill that overnight, and I'm gonna make my whipped cream, and just um, keep it in the bowl, the mixing bowl, and I'll throw it on there in the morning, right before we go. Um, that way I don't have to make whipped cream in the morning because we'll have to be packing everything up and I don't want to be in a hurry and forget anything. So I just need to finish that up and do the dishes. So my pie is in the uh, refrigerator, my whipped cream is done, and it's also in the fridge. I put away my mints and I cleaned up all my stuff. It's Christmas Eve, guys. Asleep in the wall.